Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel, my name is Marek, as you already know, and today I will be reviewing this beautiful Tesla Cybertruck that just came in today. I will not show you my face today, because my hair is too long and greasy, but we will focus solely on this Cybertruck, so let's do it! And since the first real Cybertrucks are now being delivered by the company to the first customers. I think it's also now the right time to check on this model. I also have the Model X, uh, which I reviewed like uh, several months ago, and this Model Y, uh, which I will review in the near future, but not today, it's here just for the decoration. All right, so first maybe let's check uh, the front face. And uh, before I do that, actually, this is the concept. Yeah? So uh, four years ago, Tesla introduced a concept car of this Cybertruck. And this model is actually representing the concept, not the cars that are now being delivered, yeah? which is a little bit confusing because if you go to the Tesla shop and you want to buy this one, it's uh, the concept from 2019. And as you know, this should be a stainless steel uh, car. So here all uh, the parts should be really a stainless steel. But here some people think it's plastic. I think it's die cast, but it's painted with this uh, shiny silver color. Maybe let's check the details a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's really... Uh, just a paint here yeah? and maybe I could also scratch it with with a tool for example here to show you that it's a die cast uh, metal but I will not do it today of course I don't want to destroy this beautiful model just because uh, we want to prove something yeah all right so uh, some people also said that uh, the quality of this uh, stainless steel uh, paint it's not that high as the DeLorean from AutoArt. Yeah, it, it was maybe a bit better, but here at least it resembles uh, the stainless steel. But look at this fingerprint here. I will really push it, push it and press it. Look at how it's shaking, shaking. And then no fingerprints, yeah? So maybe barely visible, but on the real car, if you do this, it will be messy, fingerprints everywhere, especially here where you open the doors, it would be disgusting and I don't know how they want to solve it, but definitely if you have this material, it needs to be cleaned all the time, every time, after every use. Okay, so let's go here to the front and you see here there is this LED stripe, these are the lights, very unusual. All the shapes are actually unusual, of course, and uh, I heard Elon Musk got inspired in the movie Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone from, let's say, 19 uh, something, yeah, the 12th century. I don't know what was the year of the release, but definitely at least 25 years ago, at least. Okay. And now we have uh, in 2023 this truck live and many people are wondering, <laughs> is it really happening? Is it now the future or uh, the present? Definitely uh, there are some things missing here yeah? and I will show you what. So uh, here the wheels, they are really like on the real truck. Very nice sturdy big wheels with this black, uh, yeah, black decoration. Some people say that there are multiple parts like this outer part and inner part everything black and then the fenders also black and what is probably missing yeah, is really the side mirrors we know about that and we know that on the concept car there were cameras and there, the cameras were actually hidden here in the fenders but if you look here nothing is there no cameras it's really so simplistic and uh, yeah, this could be done better. And I don't know why it's missing here. Where are the cameras? Where are the side mirrors? Where are all the details? Guys, hey, we, we need the details because if we are collecting cars, we need details. Some other people said 
on the Instagram accounts, online, on YouTube. Now, this is too big, yes, and that the actual car is now a little bit smaller. It's true, because the original concept car was 5% bigger or larger and longer than the currently produced vehicle. So also, this concept from 2019 is, of course, 5% bigger than it would be if they uh, create a, a 1 to 18 scale of the current produ production car. All right. So suspension, no, no suspension in the back, not, not in the front, not working. Yeah? So steering, steering in the front, yes, it should be also here. But it's not there, yeah, and it's a shame because we have seen out uh, almost real models with rear wheel suspension and steering, and the steering is not here in the back. Uh, so another disadvantage, yeah. So missing cameras, no steering here. Okay, what else is terrible about this diecast? Yeah, and I'm not saying I'm completely disappointed, but some things are really terrible. All right, then here, of course, you can open it, and there are magnets here. Yeah, so maybe I can show you a small magnets and the system. You see the magnet here. You close it and open it. Yeah, easy. And then this uh, cover. Oh, I already opened that. On the real car, actually, what you can really do uh, is that uh, it's retracted in this direction. Yeah? So uh, it's going from here uh, towards the cabin and here it's going the opposite way. Yeah? So it's simplified here and you just remove this plastic piece. Yeah, not so interesting, but it's like that. And then there is... a. Uh, this box and I was so excited like wow what is in this box and then I opened that and look I saw this it looks like one part of a horse I will not tell you which part because this video is suitable uh, for all ages but you can probably say eh, why it's yeah, it, it's really terrible and I don't like it. Actually, I don't I don't even want to hold it in my hands. It's disgusting. I prefer to have this door opening tool. It's uh, the toy for 30 cents and look at how beautifully it works. Yeah, so it's also very nice and uh, this is what I use actually. So this we don't need it. But let's go back to the model. This flat bed is quite nice and maybe later I will make some pictures with, with a palette. And there is also this window, so wow, quite nice and quite detailed. I really like the surface here. This is something that uh, they really did well. But of course this, I don't know how much effort it would be to, to make it retractable like in this direction. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, it would be difficult. I'm not saying impossible, but yeah, this model actually was for 200 euro, something like that. And there are resellers actually on eBay that are already selling this for 1000 US dollars. Please don't buy it for this price. Yeah, again, on this Tesla official eShop, it's 200 euro or something similar like 200 US dollars. If they are out of stock, just wait. It will be back for this lower price. Don't pay. Uh, 1000 to those scammy resellers from I don't know where yeah I would not I would definitely not pay anything more than three or four hundred anything more it's a scam and they are trying to to cheat on you okay so let's open now all the doors and maybe before I do that yeah so some people complain already about the quality and and so on of this model it's not so bad and even if we are lacking some details look at the panel gaps here are really minimal and oh how shiny it is look at my fingers are really reflecting so this is also something to consider i don't have so many models that would be so like mirror like and this is one of them and here really the gaps almost no gaps this is i need to really say this is awesome awesome and if you are collecting cars don't worry this one is great 
Okay, let's open it. You can't really open uh, the front. Look at that. Impossible. And maybe I would lift it like that. Look at Oh, it's so heavy. I almost can't lift it. Incredible. But now maybe you are more interested what is inside. So let me maybe shift the camera a little bit. Yeah, so that we have a good view from close distance. And here we have frameless windows. It's really, really nice how they did it. And then it's quite simplistic here. Yeah, so again, don't expect too many details. There is just this door handle and nothing more. And inside, no carpeting. It's actually uh, terrible, quite terrible inside. Yeah, so maybe what is the best angle to show you this? Maybe from here. It's very dark because the interior is also dark. The yoke steering wheel. Of course, you can uh, move the wheels. It's moving the steering wheel. It's not a wheel. I, I don't. I shouldn't uh, call it a wheel. It's really yoke. And yeah, there is also one display. Maybe from this angle, you see the display. Yeah, there is only one display in the middle, and the seats actually. They are not, not leather, it's just flat plastic, uh, they don't feel so good. There are seat belts, yeah, at least something, the seat belts you can see it here. But that's it, yeah, so not really many details. The cup holders, all right, it's there. But then you can't shift uh, the seats and now uh, I would like to see all the details here, but it's not here, yeah, so, oh, and here this flat area without carpeting this is really terribly terribly done oh look at that maybe now a better view yeah really not many details also the steering wheel oh it's terrible oh if this is the future then <laughs> i would probably wait for some other manufacturers to do something better at especially inside yeah so i have just seen a video of all those products from china and the interior is much, much better. So here, I think the, the plus points are really for this uh, extraordinary exterior, which is unlike anything else you have seen in your life. But the rest, of course, it's, it's not so great. So let's put this back. Maybe also here, this cover. Yeah, and uh, then I will tell you maybe a few more sentences before I, I close this video so maybe the final comparison of size so look at this so you have this big uh, cyber truck then you have the model y which i have not reviewed yet uh, i will do it maybe next time look at it so here it's the same distance but here this is the difference yeah so maybe until here we have uh, the tesla model y okay until the front wheel somewhere here and then also compare it let's compare it to this model uh, x which is also already quite outdated the same design for many years and uh it's also quite shorter yeah so maybe the same height but of course it's very short what i like life <laughs> love about this one are really those doors in the back so tesla always has something extra like here look at this yeah how they are opening the doors this is great now this shape of this one and model y probably the most sold uh personal car in the world in 2023 yeah so maybe uh it will uh be better than toyota corolla uh, let's see we still have one month to go but it, there are some indicators that this could be probably the most sold car in 2023. All right, but back to this Cybertruck. Let me put this aside. Today we gathered here to enjoy this new model. So tell me, please tell me in the comments, what do you think about this car? First, would you buy it as a diecast model for 200? Yeah, 200 is the initial price. Then second, would you buy it as a real car or would you rather buy some nice Cadillacs like the new electric Escalade or something? Yeah, so I personally would prefer some traditional brand with a nice interior, regular steering wheel and gouges and clusters, not this fut futuristic uh, 
car which maybe will not be that useful and comfortable yeah so what i need is comfort nice suspension maybe the real car has a good suspension but the model doesn't all right so overall my rating is like uh well i will say seven out of ten six or seven because the quality is good you can open it and by the way this one is done by norev you will not discover this information anywhere only if you are reading all the reviews online so norev and yeah of course the quality could be improved but there are other manufacturers that only do resin sealed models and uh, i personally buy only uh the die cast model where you can open all the doors and play with it a little bit it's also a little bit better when i do reviews because i can show you also the interiors and functionalities on this one really seven out of ten i think it's the appropriate rating and now i'm not rating if i like the real car or not i'm really rating the model and uh, I must say, yeah, it's quite good, even if it has some downsides, but it fits into my collection. I'm collecting all Tesla models, so this one is here in my collection. Now I can say, all right, I got it and I'm happy. All right, so thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time when I do a video maybe of all my Teslas or the model of the year 2023. I'm gonna go